Hello, welcome to LT Productions. Today we have Natural History Museum dinosaurs made by Invicta Plastics. So we are going to start with the long necks, mostly the leaf eaters because none were meat. So starting we have Momentosaurus. So, the Menchosaurus was made in 1988, made by Victor Plastics Company, the oldest, some of them were 47 years old, and they will later come. And next we have the Plodocus. This one is 1974. It is one of the 47-year-old dinosaurs from Invicta Plastic. Up next we have Cetiosaurus. This one was made in 1985. The good thing is that they're different sizes and they all aren't similar. The replica of the Diplodocus is realistic of the size of it because its tail is longer than Argent Argentinosaurus and Mutaborosaurus combined. Next will come the meat eaters. Up next on the carnivore tree we have T-Rex. T-Rex is the biggest meat eater I have, but not the biggest in scientific history. It was made in 1977, quite old for its time. Up next in the carnival tree, we have a fish eater called the Baryonyx, made to eat fish. It was made in... 1989. My last carnivore in the carnivore tree is Megalosaurus. This one is one of the smallest I have. Probably one of the smallest ever I have. It was made in 1974. I'm impressed by Invicta Plastics for doing the right colour and detail on the creatures. The T-Rex has this set of scales on the back of its body. When you feel it, they're very bumpy. At this age, they're so old that they can be worth up to £40. Or, if you're in America, quite a lot. Now, in the herbivore tree, the less small ones, now we have six herbivores. First is Iguanodon. This one is nicely painted and was made in 1985. This Iguanodon used to be a meat, meat eater, carnivore, and then changed its adaptations to the wild um, climate change and has begun a leaf eater and has grown claws what are used for further defence. Up next we have Stenontrosaurus. This one is actually quite old. It is 1987. Up next, the three-horned Triceratops comes in. Let me just put the coin there. Um, <coughs> we'll move them to the back so then you can see them better. The Triceratops was made in 1975. Up next, we have Matabarasaurus. He is 1989. He was made in that time. He is a, a cousin of the Iguanodon family. Up next, we have the plated Stegosaurus. This one was made in 1974, 
one of the oldest. Up next, we have Skeliosaurus. Skeliosaurus has an unknown age. It was thought to be about 1974 to 1989, but we're not sure on what time period. Up next, we have two swimmers. <coughs> First, we have the Pliosaur. The Pliosaur was made in 1989. Up next, we have Ichthyosaurus. Ichthyosaurus was made in 1986. One of the one of the newest, or the second newest. <laughs> Remember, the Ichthyosaurus was was discovered by British famousy Mary Anning. Up next, coming into the Pliocene, is the mammoth. We only have one prehistoric mammoth here, and the date when it was made is unknown. But... Mammoths lived from the Pliocene to the Holocene. The Holocene is a later period to what is today. From around 5 million years ago until 4,000 years ago, they were alive. I usually find these Invicta Plastics dinosaurs from car boot sales. And if you want some, if you can't find them at the car boot sale, there is websites amazon and ebay where you can find all these dinosaurs on ebay there's a lot more still out there so i would need to go to the charity shops car boot sales websites to get more make sure to subscribe and like and watch more videos Thank you for watching. Bye.